Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and my leadership team, I want to personally welcome all of you back to a new school year with all the promise, potential, and opportunity it offers. In recognizing that as a result of our new and much needed year-round calendar, our summer break was significantly shorter, I hope you and yours found time to rest and decompress, and more importantly, that you and yours are healthy and happy. To suggest that the past school year was a challenge is a distortion of the truth. It was brutal, exhausting, and at times frustrating and frightening for staff, students, and parents alike. But strategically, methodically, and at times a level of boldness tempered with the safety and health of all, as our single most priority, the best minds in the business helped us persevere and complete the 2021 school year. We owe all of you a debt of gratitude that may never be fully repaid. In 2021, our school district received national and state recognition for our successful management of the global pandemic, an unprecedented crisis with no playbook. Notwithstanding, we immediately understood and immediately addressed crucial elements within Maslow's hierarchy of needs, food, water, security, and safety. From feeding families, providing digital devices, classroom technology, internet access, and perhaps the biggest game changer, first district in the region to pioneer the COVID rapid test, to initially support our learning hub concept and all UIL activities and sports, to eventually adding a layer of confidence and protection district-wide for all employees, students, and even construction personnel working at our schools. As a result, the Isleta Independent School District maintained a positivity rate of less than 2% throughout the entire school year. It is the only district in the region that did not suspend UIL sports due to the pandemic, resulting in numerous accomplishments and championships throughout the year. The board and I are extremely proud to be part of this organization. It is true, our academic delivery systems were not effective for all students, most students, but particularly our most vulnerable students. English learners, students with special needs, and students living in abject, even generational poverty. Recent reports and analytics support the perspective that online or distance learning is far less effective. It was catastrophic to a large number of our students, and this is true across the country. Prior to the onset of this global pandemic, our district was on the verge of completing our first five-year strategic plan successfully. The academic gains in all grade levels, all subjects, and for all students were extraordinary, even remarkable, prompting a call and a visit from TEA Commissioner Morath and a team of practitioners from Austin just months before the pandemic. Our model works, and it works for all students. It starts with visionary school leaders, phenomenal classroom teachers and support staff, effective strategies with relevant instructional materials and technology, progress monitoring, focused guidance and counseling, great workspaces, extra and co-curricular activities, and attention to the emotional well-being of all children and students. However, the most important factor in our success is the aggressive, ambitious, and student outcome-oriented attitude within all of us. You see, what many refer to as an academic achievement gap is really an expectations gap. All of the elements that have supported the emergence of the Isleta Independent School District as the district, the gold standard in El Paso, a district of champions. Notwithstanding, we find ourselves in a foreign place as we start the 2021-22 school year. Much of what was achieved in our classrooms over the past five years has been adversely and significantly impacted. Our recent performance reviews indicate that our students have dropped significantly relative to their academic performance. In some subjects and in most grade levels, all students, but especially our most vulnerable students, have suffered from learning loss. I don't like the term learning loss because it ignores the fact that our students, all of us really, have learned so much over the past 18 months. We've learned what it means to be patient, resilient, flexible, and malleable to our realities. We've learned how important schools are to their communities and peers are to their students. We've learned that the classroom teacher in a face-to-face -face environment should never be taken for granted again, that teachers genuinely care for each other and their students. Our teachers and staff have learned how to leverage technology to accomplish tasks and leverage learning. We've learned life is a precious gift, Indeed, we have learned so much, and I'm convinced, at least as people, we are stronger. However, academically speaking, we are almost back to where we were when I arrived in the spring of 2014. Past is prologue in this case. Notwithstanding, 
I address you today with the knowledge that the district will respond aggressively to all the deficits. And we are as family and as professionals in the best position to move the needle back up for our students in an accelerated manner, faster than any other district in the region. That is the expectation for all of us from our community. It will be difficult and all of us will be asked to work harder, more often, and smarter than ever before. Our year-round calendar, coupled with intercession periods and extended day opportunities, is critical to our recovery. Our vigilance in promoting enrollment, attendance, and engagement to promote a myopic focus on learning, especially in literacy and language acquisition, will be critical to our recovery. All students will receive school supplies. Full-day, universal pre-kindergarten programs for as many students as possible will make thousands of children school-ready changing their school experience and accelerating their literacy acquisition. Teachers trained in literacy camps will have a profound impact on learning. That's for you today. The Isleta Independent School District will maintain its well-earned reputation as the math masters. Algebra 1 in the 8th grade will be common, the standard, and the expectation. And of course, performance at our high schools will exceed pre-pandemic levels in a short period of time. A college career and military mindset and philosophy will permeate everything we do in the four corners of our classrooms, in our school buildings, and on the field. It will be every bit an encore as indicated on our new strategic action plan. Thank you for the incredible work you've done on behalf of our students and schools. Now it's time to roll up our sleeves and take advantage of the wonderful opportunity before us to rebuild, reconnect, and respond to the needs of all students. Through bold, strategic, and consistent collaboration, we can all help realize the dreams we hold for our children and maintain our legacy as the District of Champions.